Hi, on this edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie, I just wanna go through putting on personal protective equipment and just talk about some of the ways that some mistakes could be made. I'm about to go see um, a potential COVID-19 patient at the COVID-19 triage clinic that I've been working at this week. And um, of course I wore my mask into the room this is the room that we all get changed in, and I just wanna go through each step and talk about potential mistakes, and like I said, the fact that even with all the personal protection equipment on, you're never 100% safe. And I wanna to talk to you guys about why that is and why nurse, nurses and doctors and frontline workers really need to be celebrated and applauded for the work that they do every day, putting themselves on the line um, day in and day out. Okay, let's get started. So they have a great list of what we need to be doing um, and it's really helpful to follow that. So I'm going to put my mask back on and first I'm going to just put on my inner pair of gloves, which I choose a size small. Put those on first. Then next I have a Tyvek suit that I've been using this week and I store it on the hook. We're, um, we're supposed to use the same Tyvek suit all week unless it gets really soiled. And what, what we do is we roll it up so that it never touches the floor and put that on first. I can't stress to you guys how hot <laughs> all this PPE is and so you know, having some Tyvek suits need to be changed just simply because we've sweated in them in so much. So I take my shoes off and continue to roll up. I don't ever want my suit to touch the floor if possible. Put one side on, the other side on. And this really is the base layer for a majority of PPE. Some of the Tyvek suits have hoodies that protect your shoes, but we don't have those anymore. And so now we have the footless ones, which are fine. Okay, zip that up. In between every, um, between every step, I sanitize, because you just never know what's lingering on the Tyvek suit. I hope there's nothing on that, but you never know. Okay, next, I'm putting on a bouffant to cover my hair. Which is just one of these green caps. Once again, I sanitize in between. Then, I'm gonna take off this mask and put on my N95 mask. And there are a couple of different options for N95 masks. I like the duck bill, but you've also seen these other masks as well. I'm not gonna to touch those, that's someone else's, but the duck bills I find more comfortable. But the reason why I've had to use more than one, we should be rotating them every day just to let them decontaminate every couple of days but the elastic actually gets really pulled out on the duck bills and it's hard hard to reuse them more than just a few times i've been able to only use about three this week which is which has been great i feel i feel safe with that but once the elastic gets real loose i don't feel like i have as good a protection so that's been one of the reasons why i've had to swap them out <laughs> Gonna edit that out. I can show you a good way to put those on. I kind of hold it like a, a gun. <laughs> okay. Uh, your patient is ready. The patient's ready. <laughs> she is? Yeah. She is ready. Okay, I've got my duck bell on. Make sure that I pinch it around my nose. Make sure it's tightly fitting around my face. Once again, sanitize with some hand sanitizer. And the next thing is goggles. I don't wear goggles. They've been provided to me 
that's the choice that I've made. I just have found that they fog up and I just, I can't see anything. But I appreciate that my administration has been giving me goggles. I just, I haven't used them. Next for me is the face shield. Which still fogs up a little bit, but not as bad as with goggles. Another hand sanitizer. We've been reusing aprons as well. These are sort of like plasticized aprons that we wipe, the, wipe down after, after we see patients. So get this on. It's just another layer of protection. Honestly, one of the hardest parts is just getting yourself all tied up. One of the things I've thought about with my colleagues is if I was having to run in to have a code, somebody was crashing and I had to put all this PPE on, it'd be really difficult to do it well. Okay, another layer of sanitizer. Then we put on just a plastic apron just to provide yet another layer since we're conserving the blue gowns this really provides just another added layer of shielding these we don't save <laughs> thank goodness we just take these off after we see patients and I'll walk you through taking off the PPE as well and show y'all what we do to help conserve PPE. It's just such a different age. I've never had to conserve PPE before. So cleaning like my shield and is really new. It's real different um, and a little unnerving, but I see the need for it and I understand it. Okay, last layer of hand sanitizer. An additional layer of gloves, I leave my stethoscope in the contaminated room and I make sure that I really clean it between patients for sure. Okay, so I'm all set potential places for me to be exposed, of course, are my eyes. And like I said, my administration has offered me goggles and I just, I can't, I can't tolerate them. I just get too, too foggy. You can maybe see that my face shield is fogging a little bit. And just wearing all this PPE is just really uncomfortable and hot. And so for my colleagues that wear this in and out all day long in the ICU, I applaud you. I am not doing that. I'm able to take this off after each patient. And I'm so thankful to be able to do that. Okay, I'm about to go see the patient. I'll see you guys again after I see the patient and I'll show you how to take everything off. Okay, so just saw the patient. And what we do is we don't stay in the room to write our notes now. I come over to this room and I've written, written most of my notes on this disposable paper towel. And then I'll just finish my note and write all my orders. And our wonderful medical assistants and nurses will take it from there. But I just wanted to show you guys that typing notes and doing all that on computers is so different now. I used to tear, carry my computer in the room with them. But in these types of situations, we just try to limit contact. Um, as much as we can. So I've written my note and um, 
from logging out of the computer. What I'll need to do is throw everything away and then decontaminate this area. This is the stethoscope I use, so just gotta be aware of everything that you touch and everything that you use just to decontaminate it. And I actually keep it in the room in here just to keep everything away from each other. Then I really try to wipe down, I can't remember what pen I use, so now I got to clean it all. Wipe down the area, wipe down the computer, wipe down the mouse. Now, we'll go around the corner and I'll show you what, what I do when I take everything off. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we've come back to the same place where I started and this is how we take PPE off. So, first, I always start with hand sanitizer, of course. And then I always just follow, this is called doffing PPE. So, what I do first is take off this outer plastic apron. Roll it away from me just in case the outside was contaminated. Throw that away. More hand sanitizer. Next I'll take off my outer, actually no, no I won't. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe down my outer gown as best as I can. These we reuse, like I said, which is so different and unusual. I just, in all my years of practice, we've never reused PPE. So it's just kind of a new way of thinking. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just be really careful not to rub anything on the front. And I'm also going to take off this outer pair of gloves. I'm going to hang this up to reuse this again. Decontaminate my hands. Next, I take off my face shield. And I'm gonna wipe the outside of it. You can see, oh, just how hot and sweaty <laughs> everything is. Wipe the outside. Wipe the inside. Then I actually hang it up on a hook. Okay, now I'm gonna take off my N95 mask after I decontaminate my hands again. What a relief. I'm gonna set this down in a safe place. Decontaminate my hands again. Take off my bouffant. Decontaminate my hands again. Now, because we reuse our Tyvek suits, I'm going to wipe that down. <laughs> I really do think that it's mainly protected with all the gowns, but gosh, you just never know. Okay. 
of that away. Now, as I take this off, I don't want this to drag on the floor. So what I'll do is I'll roll it up inside of itself. Sit down in a chair. I usually take my shoes off because I consider my shoes contaminated. And then I'll hang this up also on my special hook with my other PPE to be used again. I feel like this is plenty fine to use again. I'm gonna take off my outer gloves. Use hand sanitizer. Grab my, put my mask, my medical mask back on. And now I'm ready to do it again when the next patient comes. Thank you for joining me.